A new motion in a federal lawsuit against the George County Mississippi School District. It discusses the two new school board members set to take office. Report for America Corps member and WKRG multimedia journalist Corey Johnson is joining us live to walk you through it. Corey, the former superintendent filed this suit. Right, so this is a lawsuit by former superintendent Pam Tushar against the district. She alleges the school board violated her freedom of speech by retaliating against her when she reported an incident of cheating at the high school. Now, this new motion is asking the court to ban the two newly elected school board members from closed door executive session meetings that discuss the lawsuit. And this is a pretty long witness list, Corey. Right, so there's 42 people on two shards witness list total, including the current superintendent and two other school board members, but none of them were mentioned in the motion to be excluded from executive sessions. There's also dozens of current and former school employees named along with state officials that investigated the cheating allegations and ultimately put the district on probation status. Okay, so talk about why the district is doing this. What's going on? Explain that. Sure, so the school district claims that the two new school board members, Matthew Smith and Maria Clinton, have conversations with Tushar that could hurt the district side in the lawsuit. So they say that Matthew, Th Matthew Smith is a personal friend of Tushar, while Marie Clanton is on a potential witness list for her role as a former teacher and administrator in the districts. The school attorneys say that the pair could provide a direct pipeline to Tushar, a privileged discuss discussions held by the school board, as if Tushar herself or her attorney were sitting in on the meetings. Okay, so Corey, what's next? Well, Tushard wants the court to deny the lawsuit. Her attorney's response in part says, the plaintiff cannot be silent as defense counsel seeks to deprive the citizens of George County of the right to vote by excluding their duly elected school board members from participating in official business. Now, there's no guarantee a ruling on the motion will come before the new school board members take office in about two weeks. And this is likely just one of several motions that will be filed over the next few months before the scheduled trial in November 2023. With Report for America in George County, Mississippi, Corey Johnson, WKRG News 5.